today first concept today first concept to java java before going to java first of all we should know some data types primitive data types first concept to basic concept that is primitive data types primitive data types first concept to primitive data types very very important concept to how to declare the variables we can discuss today primitive data types in java we have eight primitive data types one is byte short int long float double boolean char in java we have eight primitive data types byte short int long float double boolean char so first four data types are used for store the numeric values integer values if you want to store any numeric values or integer values we will use first four data types like number of hands number of legs number of hands number of fingers number of countries number of states number of buses number of uh, rails number of trains just if you want to store any numeric value that time we will use first four data types first byte is 8 bit and short is 16 bit and int is 32 bit and long is 64 bit what is bit sir so bit is 8 bit means it can store the value minus 2 power of 7 to 2 power of 7 minus 1 that means minus 128 to plus 127 values in between values we can store minus 128 to 127 in between, in between values we can store in byte short is 16 bit this range like minus 2 power of 15 to 2 power of 15 minus 1 2 power of 15 minus 1 and 32 bit range is minus 2 power of 31 to 2 power of 31 minus 1 2 power of 31 minus 1 64 bit this range is minus 2 power of 63 to 2 power of 63 minus 1 and float or double are used for store the decimal values if you want to store any decimal value my height is 5.9 so if you want to store decimal values we will use float or double 0 0.004 so if you want to store decimal values that time we will use float or double float is 32 bit this range is minus 2 power of 31 to 2 power of 31 minus 1 double range is 64 bit this range like minus 2 power of 63 to 2 power of 63 minus 1. Boolean is used for store the true or false. If we want to store true or false, we will use Boolean. True or false. If we want to store true or false, we will use Boolean. Char is used for store the single character. If we want to store the single character, we will use char. Char is used for store the single character. Here one note you need to remember. One that is string is not a data type in Java, it is a free defined function in Java. String is not a data type in Java, it is a free defined function in Java. Always in Java we will use string. So string is not a data type in Java, it is a free defined function in Java. So if you want to learn Java basics, first of all we should know this concept that is primitive data types. So today first concept, very very important concept that is static methods we will discuss today before going to static methods first of all we should know how to work with java or eclipse first of all i will give you java software we can you can install it will take only two minutes within two minutes you can install java software i will send you java software this is the java software only it will take it will support all operating systems it will support all operating systems. oh this is the java software you need to double click on it it will take only one and a half minute one and a half minute it will take within one and a half minute we can install java after installing java java is installed or not how we know just go to c program files and in java program files
java yes java installed so if it is java installed it will show you icon java icon okay java is installed only it will take only one and a half minutes after java installing we need to run eclipse eclipse we need to run every time so there is no installation for eclipse there is no installation for eclipse so this is the eclipse software so oh, this is the eclipse software after class i will send you sir so double click on it each and every time we need to run double click on it so it will show you 13 icons it will show you 13 icons click on eclipse ball so oh, this is the eclipse ball click on eclipse ball yes we need to run so cell 1 i am giving you it is it will ask you whenever you are clicking on eclipse ball it will ask you where do you want this program so i want c user circle workspace cell 1 i am giving click on okay it will take 1 minute sir within 1 minute eclipse will come yes eclipse it will show you first window just close the welcome window close the welcome window now this is eclipse now this is eclipse this area is called project explorer this area is called project explorer this area is called project explorer and this is the save button this is the save button this is the run button so we should know only three things project explorer run button save button if you know these buttons we can work with eclipse very comfortably so first of all if you want to work with eclipse first of all we should know how to create project how to create package how to create class how to create project first of all how to create project how to create package how to create class first of all we should know how to create project how to create package how to create class first of all right click on project explorer right click on project explorer and we can take the new project i am taking project name is metro right click on project explorer and take the project to metro after taking the project we can get two icons one is src second one is jre src means source code jre means java runtime environment src means source code jre means java runtime environment two folders default it will create whenever you are creating package automatically under project we can get two folders src and jre right click on src we can take the package we can take the package right click on src we can take the package right click on package we can take the class right click on package we can take the class so this is the order sir otherwise otherwise directly we can right click on src directly we can take the class also whenever you are taking like this it will take under default package 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 default package it will take under default package directly we can take the class also right click on src directly we can take class <coughs> whenever you are taking direct class it will take under default package this is the order okay every time no need to create package directly we can take class that time it will take under default package okay how to create project how to create package and how to create class we will discuss now go to project explorer right click just go to project explorer right click take the new project i'm taking project name is java project i'm selecting java project click on next giving project name is metro and giving project name is metro click on finish right after creating project we can get two folders src and jre right click on src take the new class directly i am taking class 
directly I am taking class. Class name is class 1. I am taking class 1. Here I am keeping mark public static void main mark I am taking. For main method purpose we are keeping the mark. Why we are keeping the mark I will explain you later. Here I am keeping the mark. Only for main method purpose we are keeping the mark. Click on finish. Right. I am taking directly class. That is the reason it is taking under default package. That is the reason it is taking under default package. Now you can get to here. It is taking default package it is creating under default package it is taking class right next if you want to increase that this text size we can increase here this is the unwanted statements first of all this is the unwanted statements we don't want delete it and this is also unwanted statement to delete it so if you want to increase the text size we can do it so slowly I will teach you every day you can get that option Windows preferences general appearance color and fonts under Java edit text click on edit actually it is 10 size I'm keeping 18 no? click on ok apply ok right if you want write anything in Eclipse we can write SYSO shortcut SYSO control space SYSO control space this is the printed statement high next if you want write anything SYSO control space good evening next line SYSO control space how are you sir SYSO control space boy sir like we can write the statements so this is the main method in the main method we are writing so this part is called main method this is under class this is the declaration part under class that is the declaration part this is the main method whenever you are keeping the mark that time we can get this one public static void main string acts Whenever you are keeping the mark, then only we can get this option. Compulsory main method required. Then only we can call the functions. So, save and click on run button. So, it will give output. Hi, good evening. How are you, sir? Bye, sir. It will give output. Hi, good evening. How are you, sir? Bye, sir. So, if you want any line, single line, we can use double slash. This is single line comment. This is single line comment. If you want multi-line comment, one slash, one star, one slash and one star. And I want to comment only three lines. So, end of the third line, just star and slash. So, this is multi-line comment. This is multi-line comment. So, if you if you comment the lines so it will not concentrate here we can get output only by sir we can get output only by sir by sir why because remaining lines i commented that is the reason it is giving only by sir so like we can work with this eclipse every day every time we will work with this this is the same way this is the same way we will work with this eclipse right once again, I will show you. Just wait. And today, first concept. Today, first concept is. Today, first concept. Static methods. Static. Today, first concept. Static methods. Static. Today, first concept. And taking red. Static. Static properties. And non-static properties, static properties and non-static properties. What is static? We will discuss now. Static means in Java common. Static means common. Static means common. Wherever you go, there are two categories of people. One is boys. Other one is girls. 
one is boys other one is girls for example i am taking category is nothing but it is a class there are two classes of people wherever you go there are two categories of people category is nothing but it is a class there are two classes of people one is boy class other one is girl class for example i am taking one boy class i am taking one boy class all the boys having some common properties that properties is called static properties all the boys having some common properties that properties is called static properties what are the properties all the boys commonly having number of hands and number of legs okay for example i am taking properties number of hands and number of legs number of hands and number of legs right all the boys not having some common properties that properties is called non static properties what are the properties all the boys not having commonly name and color for example i'm taking name and color these are the non static properties next next all the boys commonly do some actions the reactions is called static actions all the boys commonly do some actions the reactions is called static actions what are the actions all the boys commonly do and non static actions also first static actions all the boys commonly do some actions the reactions is called static actions first static action breathe breath is a static action action or function we can say action or function breath and next one is sleep these are the static actions commonly do all the boys commonly do these actions that actions is static actions all the boys not do commonly that actions is called non static actions what are the actions all the boys not do commonly for example i am taking drink drink is a non static action and the smoke is a non static action so all the boys will not do commonly so based on this properties and actions we can write the program okay java don't know telugu java don't know hindi java don't know anything java knows only logic java knows only logic so here we need to maintain the logic only java don't know anything within a b c d also we can learn java within a b c d also we can learn java java don't know anything so using these properties we can we can learn today first class right before going to java you should remember only three things if you know these three things you can learn java very easy if you want to learn java you should know you should know three things you should know three things first point if you want first point if you want store the non static stuff if you want store the non static stuff compulsory memory location required if you want to store the non static stuff i am talking about only non static i am talking about only non static if you want to store the non static stuff compulsory memory location required so for example i am taking one memory location i am giving memory location name is new so what are the non static stuff we have one is name this is the property simply we can Uh, end with semicolon name and color name and color and start the action non start the actions drink and smoke if it is function we need to write function bracket and smoke okay if you want to store the non start stuff compulsory memory location required that is the first point second point second point if you want to add or get 
if you want add anything to object memory location or if you want get anything from object memory location compulsory reference in the required if you want add anything to object memory location if you want add anything to object memory location or if you want get anything from object memory location compulsory reference in required if you want or add or get compulsory memory location required sorry reference name required reference name required if you want to add anything to object memory location if you want to get anything from object memory location compulsory reference name required if it is non static we need to create the object if it is non static we need to create the object we need to create the object object syntax class name reference name equal to new class name if you know only this line more than enough if it is non static compulsory we need to create the object this is the object creation class name reference name equal to new class name this is the object creation class name reference name equal to new class name this is the object creation class name is boy i'm taking class name is boy reference name equal to b equal to new boy class name reference name equal to new class name class name is boy reference name is b equal to new class name boy boy b equal to new boy so this is a only one line here one you need to remember boy is class name b1 is reference name new is memory location boy is class name so if you want first line if you want to store the non static stuff compulsory memory location required go new is memory location second one if you want to add or get to, uh, if you want to add anything to object memory location if you want to get anything from object memory location reference name required reference name is b so class name reference name equal new class name boy b equal to new boy boy b equal to new boy this is the thing if you know these three things we can learn java very easy okay totally we will call, we will learn java based on this concept sir class name reference name equal new class name class name reference name equal new class name only if you know only for non static we will create this object creation only for non static we will create this object creation right so today we can write the program now before going to concept once again i will write the program here normally we will write yeah first concept how to declare static properties 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 what are the properties we have number of hands and number of legs so public static if it is static we need to mention static public static uh, number of hands data type is integer okay number of hands number of hands finished next number of legs public static int number of legs number of legs right how to declare how to declare non static stuff how to declare non static properties how to declare non static properties just for general knowledge this properties no need just for general knowledge how to declare the properties we should know that's the reason we are learning how to declare non static properties what are the non static properties we have name and color so public name data type string data type whenever writing string it should be cap string name public string color right next how to declare start key actions 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 
static actions is breathe and sleep so public these are the static actions compulsory we need to mention static if it is static we need to mention otherwise leave it public static void this is the function so if it is function we will write void public static void breathe this is the function function bracket required and uh, here write function body sysv system dot out dot print ln system dot out dot print ln breathing breathing so bracket close and close bracket okay this is the function declaring this is the function declaring public static void breathe function name is breathe and this is the function body this is the function body right next how to declare non static properties not static actions how to declare non static actions so how to declare non static actions red 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 how to declare how to declare non static actions non static non static means public void drink so if it is static we need to mention static if it is non static no need to mention anything system dot out dot intern so logic whatever you want you can write it drinking okay if it is static directly we can write uh, we, we need to mention static if it is non static no need to write static so this is the concept how to declare static properties how to declare non static properties how to declare static actions how to declare non static actions so same concept we will write in eclipse right come to go to eclipse one second how to work with eclipse one second i will show you i'm closing right first double click on eclipse each and every time we need to run click on eclipse so i'm giving cell one only click on okay now go to src take the new class and taking class name is boy class keep the mark public static void menu click on finish this is unwanted statements delete it delete it so if you want to declare anything under class we can declare first time writing static properties public static int number of and enough next public static int number of legs only for just for general knowledge we are discussing these properties next non static properties public name data type is string string public string name next public string color <coughs> right this is for just for general knowledge comment it and read general knowledge and for general knowledge next public functions public static 
oblique static void breathe is for is for control space breathing enough remain in copy paste we can copy control v. control v. control v. public void breathe next one sleep sleeping no need of static non static function name is drink drinking no need of static smoke smoke smoking right so i wrote two static functions i wrote non static functions too so come to main method this is the main method this is the main method if it is static directly i can write here why because this is the static directly if it is static directly i can write here and sleep also i can write here why because this is also static and drink if i drink if i write directly it will show you error why because this is non static so if it is non static compulsor we need to create the object how to create the object already i told you class name reference name equal to new class name class name is boy class name is i taken boy class name is boy i taken class name is boy so class name is boy so boy reference name as your wish b1 equal to new class name new boy enough here i get taken reference name is b1 with the reference we can write it b1 dot drink and b1 dot smoke enough this is the concept okay if i click run save click and run it will give logic drinking breathing sleeping drinking smoking so here java don't know anything even for example i am taking a b c d also a a is static b also i am taking static a is static i am taking b also static c i am taking non static d also i am taking non static so directly i can write a why because it is static b also i can write here why because it is also static c ka c i can write why because it is a non static with the reference only we can write c b1 dot d so total this concept says only one line if it is static directly we can write in main method if it is non static we need to create the object with the reference only we can write this concept total entire concept says only one line if it is static directly we can write in main method if it is non static we need to create the object with the reference of object only we can write it so this is static methods and non static methods static properties and non static properties if it is static directly we can write in the main method if it is non static we need to create the object with the reference only we can write it total today concept says that thing sir any doubts uh, no